A common call that we get in the clinic is someone saying, hey, one of my eyes went blurry all of a sudden. Maybe they woke up and realized, hey, I can't see out of my right eye. And like I said, this can be fairly common. And so I wanted to go over five reasons why this might happen. Let's focus in. We have arteries and veins that supply blood and nutrients to the inside of the eye, the retina, and the tissue around the retina. And if one of those has a blockage, you can get a blockage in the arteries or the veins, it can cause those veins or those arteries to burst and leak and profuse and fluid will go all around and blood will go all around. And doctors will commonly call this an eye stroke. It's an umbrella term for any type of blockage in one of the blood vessels in the eye. Now, for example, take a retinal vein occlusion. There's a blockage in the vein of the eye. Sometimes you can get this occlusion and not really have any symptoms in the eye. People don't really know that they've had an eye stroke. Now, if there's enough of fluid or blood or leakage that happens in there, that fluid can accumulate into the center of the eye, the macula, where the center of your vision is, where your fine detail vision happens. And if you get fluid in there, then definitely will mess up your vision. So it is possible that the vision might feel like it went blurry all of a sudden, but you've had something kind of brewing and leaking in there for a while now. And it's also possible when you have that eye stroke, the vision could go blurry all of a sudden. The bottom line here is that it does warrant an emergency visit to your eye doctor. And if you're having other stroke symptoms, trouble talking, numb, droopy face, then you wanna go into the ER, even if it's in the middle of the night, don't waste your time. And there's a lot more to cover, a lot more details to talk about regarding eye strokes, and I'll do that in a later video, but if you are having these symptoms, go right into your doctor. Number two is retinal detachment. Now typically with retinal detachment, you'll have other symptoms, usually flashes of light, lightning streaks in the side periphery of your vision. You might notice that you got new floaters, floaters floating, globs floating in your vision, or you might notice a curtain, a dark veil, or hazy area that's starting to come from the peripheral of your vision, sneaking into the center of your vision. Now this is what's scary. If you have a retinal detachment and it's progressing, there's a chance that it can get to the macula. That is the center of your vision. If it gets to the macula and detaches the macula, that can really decrease your vision. In fact, in the clinic, we call that a MAC off retinal detachment or macula off retinal detachment, which kicks you up into the next level of care and more emergent. If you have a MAC off retinal detachment, you wanna get right in there, get treatment as fast as possible to try and save your vision. So if you notice that your vision went blurry, especially the center part of your vision, and it's related to a retinal detachment, you do not want to waste any time, middle of the night, late at night, weekend, call your eye doctor, get right in, see what's going on. Number three is a cataract. Now this one might surprise you because usually cataracts are very slow progressing. It slowly changes your vision. It's not really thought of as a condition that can all of a sudden change your vision in one eye, but there is one type of cataract that can have that effect. There's a cataract called a posterior subcapsular cataract. It's a mouthful. And this cataract forms on the back of the crystalline lens inside your eye, subcapsular, under that capsular bag in your eye. And it acts like a blanket that's starting to cover the back of that lens. Now, normally if the blanket or the cataract is on the side of the lens, it doesn't really mess with your central vision as much. But once that blanket, that cataract crosses over your central visual axis, the center vision, that's when you'll notice that it really degrades and decreases your vision. And I've actually had many patients that wake up, notice, wow, my eye and my left eye went blurry. All of a sudden, they'll come right in and I'll say, hey, you have a cataract. And it's really hard to believe because usually cataracts are the slow progressing problem and this type of cataract just grew really fast. And this type of cataract is known for that. It can be fast progressing and sometimes you won't notice it until it crosses that central axis. So it'll make it feel like you didn't have anything wrong until it crossed that central axis and then all of a sudden blurry vision in one eye. Now luckily you can get this one resolved with cataract surgery where your vision can go back to normal. Number four is a migraine. This is also another one that you wouldn't really think of can cause a sudden blur to your vision in one eye, but a lot of people that have migraines, specifically ophthalmic 
or ocular or eye migraines can get what's called a visual aura in their vision and it can actually block and blur up their vision for a little bit. Now the symptoms of this one can vary from person to person, but typically when you get this visual aura, it can be a blurry smudge. It can look like a zigzag pattern of lights, maybe colors, black and white. It can blink or stay there. It can grow and move outside your peripheral vision. So there are many different options to the symptoms there, but they typically last five to 30 minutes, maybe longer, but then they resolve and your vision will go back to normal. But what's really scary, and this has actually happened to me, is that visual aura can start in the center of your vision. And when you're looking at something, maybe you're trying to read letters on a page, it's almost like you can't look directly at it because that center smudge is blocking what you're seeing. And you have to kind of look off to the side to be able to actually read the letters or look at what you're trying to look at. So it can be really frightening uh, at first. But then, like I said, it can slowly morph and eventually will fade off. And this is something that can happen in one or both eyes. And it's kind of a mystery in the eye world, but still something worth getting your eyes checked out. In fact, I go more into detail in this video. I'll put that link in the description if you want to learn more about that. Now, before we get into the fifth reason, there really are many reasons and many conditions that can cause blurry vision in one eye. The takeaway home message here is to go into your eye doctor. If you have a symptom of sudden blurry vision in one eye, don't even wait. Call in for an emergency visit just to see what's going on. Also, try and get into your comprehensive eye exams. There are a lot of these conditions that we can catch before it gets to that stage where it starts blurring up the center vision and something that we can proactively and prevent, hopefully by catching it in your comprehensive normal eye exams. And just out of curiosity, because there are many conditions that can cause this, if this has ever happened to you, leave it in the comments. I'm kind of curious to see what you did about it. Number five is diabetes. Now this one can be more common for blurry vision, sudden blurry vision in one or both eyes, and there's a few different ways that it can blur up the vision. If you're someone that has high blood sugar, the crystal lens in the eye where you get cataracts can actually soak up that blood sugar and change the shape of that lens that can change the prescription of your eye. And that can make it feel like your vision went blurry all of a sudden. Now, typically this happens in both eyes. It can happen in one eye, but usually it happens in both eyes. And another reason along the same lines as eye stroke is the diabetes can actually damage the blood vessels in your eyes where they can actually pop and leak fluid and bleed in the back of your eye. And that fluid can accumulate and cause macular edema or swelling in the center portion of your eye, the center portion of your vision. And this might have similar symptoms to the migraine where you look at something and maybe just the center portion of it you can't see. So it makes it feel like you have to look to the side or up or down to actually see what you're looking at because it feels like the center is blurred out or you might have a segment in the center vision that's blurred out or smudged out. And this can be similar to the eye stroke. You might have pop blood vessels in your eyes, not even know it until that fluid accumulates and causes that edema in the macula and then it really blurs your vision. And this, like the eye stroke, you'll probably get involved with a retinal specialist to try and treat that edema that's in your macula. I actually went into more detail how your blood sugar and diabetes can blur your vision in this video right here. I definitely recommend checking out this one next. I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy. Stay focused.